Celebrate the World, Dia de los Muertos by Hannah Elliott. At the end of October every year, a very special holiday begins. It is Dia de los Muertos or the Day of the Dead. Flores, flowers, calaveras, skulls, artesanias, handicrafts, velas, candles. Dia de los Muertos is an ancient tradition celebrated in Mexico and other places around the world. During this holiday, people take time to remember and celebrate family and friends who have passed away. Although it's called Day of the Dead, our celebrations last several days. With delicious foods, brightly colored decorations, and festive parties, we honor the lives of the people we miss, including those who left us many years ago. But before Dia de los Muertos begins, we must prepare. We bake a tasty sweet roll called Pan de Muertos, or Bread of the Dead. We make atole, a hot drink of masa, water, cinnamon, sugar, and vanilla. We gather flowers, especially cempasuchil. These are also called flor de muertos, or the flower of the dead. In our homes, we set up altars, or altares. We decorate them with offerings, or ofrendas like candles and flowers. The light of the candles and the smell of the flowers help guide the spirits back to us. On the altar, we also place items that were important to our loved ones. We gather cherished books and musical instruments and special jewelry. We add their favorite foods and drinks. We add pictures. We surround ourselves with skeletons. We make huge skeletons out of paper mache and teeny tiny skeletons out of clay. We even paint them and dress them up. We pose the skeletons doing silly things, like playing the guitar, or dancing, or even taking a bath. Along with skeletons, we decorate our bakeries, schools, cemeteries, and other places in our communities with beautiful cut paper designs called papel picado and with skulls or calaveras. Many of these skulls are made out of sugar. They are embellished with colorful icings and designs. Some skulls have the names of our departed on them. Some even have our names. We do all of this to celebrate the beauty of life and death rather than mourn it. After a few days, many of us visit the cemetery for the last of the celebrations. We clean the tombstones of our loved ones, we play music, and we tell stories. It is a festive time. When Dia de los Muertos is over, we put away the skeletons and the skulls and the altars. But the special holiday reminds us to enjoy life all year round, and it reminds us to honor our loved ones. This way, they stay in our hearts forever. It's time for Dia de los Muertos or the Day of the Dead. From flowers to sugar skulls, we must get everything ready to celebrate the cycle of life and honor our loved ones. El Fiend